is the Disney Cars Toy Club and we have a really fun video for you guys today. We're going to be opening up all sorts of brand new stuff that we have not shown on the channel yet. We have six blind boxes which includes the Marvel Kid Robot Labbit series. We have Futurama. We have Disney Vinylmation. We have the Dunnies and the Chaos Bunnies. We have a few chocolate eggs, a Kinder Surprise egg, and of course our decorated Play-Doh eggs. Now we're going to start this video off by opening up our first blind box which is the Chaos Bunnies. And to be honest with you guys, this is probably the most excited I've ever been to open a blind box on this channel because this is something that I've wanted to do since I started on this channel and I'm just now kind of getting around to doing it. These are pretty expensive. A case of these is going to be usually over $200. So these are not cheap by any means. But I have a feeling that the quality of these are going to be really nice. I cannot wait to see who we're going to get for the very first one. Looking for the tear strip. There it is. These are actually made by, I believe, Jed Ledbetter, I think is the name. I'm not 100% sure on that. So here's our first Chaos Bunny. We got the blue one. And as you can see, he's got some attachments right there. And right here on the back, it looks like we got these. Well, no, that's not the Snow Bunny. <laughs> it looks like we got the Ice Cat Bunny, which he's, I guess he's a little bit harder to get than some of the other ones. He's a 1 in 24. And let's go ahead and get him put together and we'll see what he looks like. And look at that. That is just a really beautiful blind box character. He's got some snowflakes on the back and the little ice flames coming out of his mouth was a really nice touch. His little ears popped on real easy. That is just a beautiful character. The artwork on that is just so spectacular. The paint on it's in really good shape too. Again, this is made by Kid Robot and usually with the Kid Robot products, they're normally in really good shape so we'll go ahead and set that one down that's a pretty cool way to start the video off let's go ahead and open our first chocolate egg which we have a scooby-doo here we've opened a few of these on the channel so far and the last scooby-doo toy that i got i was not impressed with it one bit it was probably the worst thing that i've ever seen come out of a a chocolate egg and what do we got here this looks this isn't looking too promising either let's see what we got all right so it looks like we got a spinning top so I guess I'm supposed to just take it and we're gonna try to spin it and first attempt was a fail let's see if we can get there we go all right so that one's actually not that bad of a toy that one at least works that last one that we got I don't even know what it was supposed to do this is actually pretty tricky. There we go. So that's not too bad. That's a pretty neat toy. And also, before I forget, the Chaos Bunny also did come with this little portrait, this little card. And on the back of it, as you can see, it says Collect All 12. And there's kind of a look at the different ones. The one that I'm really hoping that I'm going to get is this Sea Snail Bunny, which is a 1 in 48. I guess that's kind of the one of the rare ones the lava bunny is also a pretty rare one i think but that sea snail is the one that i'm hoping i'm going to get now let's go ahead and open up let's do the dunny next this is going to be the azteca 2 series here's a look at the side of the box and the one that i'd really like to get out of this set is actually this little stone faced figure right there and this one right here both of those look really cool Let's go ahead and get this opened up and we'll see who we get for our very first one. I also bought a case of these, so you'll be seeing a lot more of these in future videos as well. And that's funny, it had a tear strip that really <laughs> didn't go anywhere for me. Let's try the other one. All right, so here's gonna be the very first one that we get. And it looks like she wears her heart on her sleeve. Oh wow, I didn't realize they actually have two sides to them. That's the first character that I've opened so far that had two sides. So that's kind of neat. That's very unusual. And you can also spin it around, I guess, and kind of change the outlook a little bit. So now she has two lips. And it also comes with this, which I'm not quite sure what that is. And let's, let's just go ahead and knock out the other dunny. This is going to be the Sideshow series. I also have a case of these as well. Here's a look at some of the ones on the side. The one that I really want is the one that's got the fire coming off the side of them. And this one right here also looks pretty cool too. 
So let's go ahead and get this taken out of the box. We'll see what this one looks like. And who do we got? So yeah, one of the tear strips really doesn't do too much. Oh, nice. Look at that. We got the one that I said that I wanted. <laughs> so here's the one that has the fire that comes out. And it looks like the fire just attaches to his back right here. So I'll, I'll go ahead and get that put on and we'll see what he looks like. So here's the card that goes with it. As you can see, it says 2013 Dunny Sideshow. There's a look at the back. It says Andrew Bell right there. I believe that's the artist that made this one. These also definitely did not disappoint. That's a really cool character art. He's got like a little flower right there and it looks like his feet are kind of on fire or have some lava. And he's got some really neat eyes. So that's a very cool character. We'll go ahead and set him next to our other really neat character, the Chaos Bunny. We'll go ahead and move all, some of this off to the side. Let's go ahead and open our first Play-Doh egg. Here's going to be our teal blue one. And let's get this opened up. See what we get for our first Play-Doh egg. Slap that off to the side and uh, get this popped open. And we have the Iron Man Marvel mugs. Now there's 24 different ones to collect. We've only opened one of these so far, so I really think this is gonna be something new. Whatever we get out of here is something that you guys haven't seen on the channel yet. And here is our Iron Man. And it looks like, I'm thinking it's this one. No, nope, it's not that one. A lot of them look the same. I'm trying to find them, is it this one? Yeah, I think it's that one right there. So, okay, there is the one that we got. Little miniature Iron Man. These stand up really well, as you can see. They have a big giant base, so you can have a little army of these things. And it almost looks like you could put something in his hand, like a weapon or something. So there is our Iron Man. We'll go ahead and set him down. And let's open another Play-Doh egg. Let's grab this one right here with all these blue dots on it. <laughs> Let me get these dots taken off. And I think this is also going to be a new one that you guys haven't seen on the channel yet, if I remember right. And it is. This is going to be a Cactus Pups. So this is something that I've never opened. And we will see what we got. All right, so here is our first Cactus Pup. Let's go ahead and get them out of the bag here. All right, so here is our first ever cactus pup that we've shown on the channel. He has this little bowl that goes with him that has a little crossbones and a heart. I guess that's his water dish. And then here is the actual cactus pup. And as you can see, he's got these little thorns on him to kind of, I guess, show that he's a cactus. He's wearing like a little cactus outfit. And these are made by Toki Doki, if I remember right. Yeah, Toki Doki. So that's kind of cool. He's a little small though. He's a little smaller than what I thought he was going to be. We'll put him right there. We'll put his little water dish next to him. Next up, let's go ahead and grab this other Play-Doh egg that's sitting off to the side here. Let's see what we get inside of this one. And we have a Cactus Kitties. So we, we just opened the Cactus Pups. This is going to be a Cactus Kitty. And the box for this is a little bit bigger than the one for the Pups. We have this nice little Toki Doki foil wrapper. And look and see, there's nothing else in there. So this is what you get. Here's our first cactus kitty, and it looks like a little pirate cactus kitty. It's got a little parrot and an earring. That is so adorable. So here's kind of a comparison of our cactus kitty versus the cactus pup. And that kitty is just so much better than the pup is. <laughs> Even if you like dogs more than cats, you have to admit, that is a very adorable character right there. He's got his little pirate flag on his tail. He's got the parrot. He's got a little earring. He's got his eye patch. That is one cute kitty. He actually looks a little bit kind of like a blowfish with the way he's got these little thorns on the side of him. Man, I don't even want to put that one down. That one's just so cute. We'll go ahead and set that down, though. Let's go ahead and open up our first plastic egg. This is going to be the Cars 2 series. And this is, I guess, a foreign egg because it's got foreign writing on it. And let's see what we get here. This is actually the first one of these that I've opened. So I got these little tiny pieces of candy, but more importantly, 
We got a little car. Or excuse me, it's a bus. <laughs> I don't have the slightest idea what a bus has to do with cars too, but we got a bus and it looks like we got Uncle Topolino as a tattoo. At least I think that's a tattoo. So here is our Cars 2 bus, <laughs> which again, I have no idea what a bus has to do with Cars 2. I don't remember any buses in the Cars 2 universe, but maybe somebody can correct me if I'm wrong. But overall, this is one very disappointing toy to come out of a plastic egg. We'll just go ahead and push that right out of the way. Now, let's go ahead and open up a chocolate egg. This is going to be the Plains, the Plains series. Still looking for Chupacabra. I have not gotten him out of this yet. Let's see who we get. I'm getting chocolate all over my floor. And we definitely got a plane. Looks like we got Dusty this time. Yeah, we got Dusty. Let me get him put together and we'll see what he looks like. So here is our Dusty with his stickers put together. And that looks so much better than the, <laughs> the car that came out of the Cars 2 egg. Look at the difference there. I mean, which toy would you guys rather have? The planes or that? All right, let's go ahead and put that down. And let's open up the Futurama Kid Robot box. Now, this is another one that we've never opened on the channel before. Here's some of the different characters that you can get. If I had to pick one, I want the little alien. That would be the one that I'd like to get. We had a few requests for these. We haven't seen a lot of people wanting to see these though so I didn't buy a lot of these I don't have a whole case I only have a couple of them but if you guys want to see more of these just be sure and let us know so it looks like we got the robot and he has his little golden globe statue I guess that's what that's supposed to be and as you can see he can hold his little award if I remember right I think he was like the robot actor I think. I can't remember their names though. I can't remember a lot of the names from the Futurama series. I did watch almost every show from the first eight or nine seasons, but I can't remember his name. And let's go ahead and grab this Play-Doh egg that's way up here in the top. Get our little cheap decoration off there and uh, get this Play-Doh off. And let's see, what do we got here? So this is going to be a Transformers Mashems. We've yet to show any of these. These are brand new. I got this from Target. This is one of the few toys that I did not actually buy off of eBay or Amazon. Which that is a question I get asked a lot is where do I buy this stuff? And again, most of it does come from eBay and Amazon. So here is our first Transformer. He's kind of ugly looking. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> That's a pretty neat mashem though. So here's what he looks like squished. Almost looks like he's got liquid inside of there. It does. Yeah, there's liquid in there. You can kind of see it right there. I just assumed that most of these had just like pockets of air in them, but this one actually has some liquid. Almost looks like Coca-Cola too. <laughs> I think it's just clear water. I think it's just the way that it looks because it's a mash -em, but so here he is kind of squished in I love these things these are so fun to have if even if you're just kind of like out and about just crushing these things especially if you're in a bad mood or if you're mad these are great to have let's go ahead and open up our next labbit so we've opened a couple of these so far have yet to get spider-man though that's the one I'm looking for we got Captain America and we've gotten carnage those are the two that we've got, and these are also Kid Robot. And it looks like we got Venom. This is, I believe this is anti-Venom if I remember right. Of course, he's got this big long tongue, which if you guys checked out the Play-Doh egg video that I did, I made him have a pretty long tongue in that too. And just to make sure, let's see what else we got in here. So yeah, there's anti-Venom. I had to think for a minute to remember if that was regular Venom or if it was Anti-Venom, which Anti-Venom was also in the Spider-Man Edge of Time game. And, wow, wonder what is going on back here. You know, again, <laughs> the other two characters had that, and I'm just, I'm not even going to comment on that, but that's kind of interesting that they, they 
gave some detail to the back end of that, but not anything else like on the side. Right there, as you can see, marvel.com. And this was made, I guess, by Kozik at Kid Robot. That's pretty cool. I'm going to go ahead and set him down on his card. Let's go ahead and open the Disney Urban Vinyl collectible figure next. We've opened a couple of these so far, and the one that I'm looking for is the popcorn one. And let's see, who do we got? Oh, wow. What is that? <laughs> let's, let's take his little card out. So the artist for this was Thomas Scott, and there is the Vinylmation logo. And it almost looks kind of like his head is upside down. I don't know, it's kind of strange. Like his eyes are right here, but his mouth is right there. And I'm not really sure what that's supposed to be. And wow, he's got like some, <laughs> some checker colored overalls back here. And you can kind of see the outline of Mickey Mouse right there, but it looks like the artist for this design didn't really use the ears for anything. Of course, he's got his little Mickey Mouse hands. But yeah, this is another one that can be reversed, even though he won't have a mouth. It's kind of interesting. They could have put a mouth right there, and then you really could have used both sides of them. There's the look at the bottom. Yeah, you know, this one, you know, I don't know. I don't know if I really like this one, but <laughs> it is what it is. We'll go ahead and set that down. And let's go ahead and open up our giant Play-Doh egg that's back here in the back. Let's go take his little frilly hair off. And of course, he's got his mustache. Let's get that off. Get his little eyes off. And let's see what we have behind door number three. <laughs> All right, so it looks like we got... The My Little Pony. Now this is actually, this is going to be one of the newer series. This is the first one of these that we've opened on the channel, I believe. Let's go ahead and get this cut open. The date on the back of the package says it's from 2013. And I'm thinking, you guys can correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's either Series 10 or Series 12. Wow, look at that one. So this is going to be Trixie Lully Moon, Lulla Moon and is great at creating magic tricks and here's a look at the back and this one's got a lot of sparkle and these the sparkle does come off of them someone did comment and they said that you can take some clear nail polish and just kind of I guess paint it on there and it'll keep the the glitter from coming off but that is a very cool character look at that she's even got some glitter in her hair so there is our My Little Pony and I had to clean up my desk a little bit and I almost forgot about the Kinder Surprise Egg and the Play-Doh Egg. So let's go ahead and get this opened up and we will see what we got in our Kinder Surprise Egg. And what is that? All right, so looks like we have a little green alien and he's got a base and a toilet with a boat in it. So let's see if we can get this put together and then we'll see what it looks like. All right, so here he is on the base, and as you can see, he's a little alien, and it almost looks like a big diaper. <laughs> I'm not sure what that's supposed to be, but he's got a little boat, and he's playing with it in a toilet. That's not very sanitary. That's a pretty neat little design and artwork and character, though. I do like that one. We'll go ahead and set that down, and let's open up our final item. This is going to be a Play-Doh egg. Let's get the pink off of here. And it's going to be a little egg, it looks like. And inside we have... What is that? Alright, so it looks like we got a girl character from the Sonic series. These things are so tiny. And as you can see, she's got kind of like a little fuzzy, furry look to her. And I do not know her name, though, because I, I'm familiar with the original Sonic games, but not the newer stuff. So maybe one of you guys can comment and let me know what the name of this character is. It's a really cute character, though. Go ahead and set her down. And I hope you guys enjoyed our video. If there's a specific blind box or a specific surprise pack that you guys want to see more of, be sure to comment and let us know. And if you did enjoy the video, be sure to hit the like button. That does help support the channel. This is Disney Cars Toy Club. And as always, thanks for stopping by. So Tyler has decided he's a swashbuckling pirate today. And what toy does Tyler want from our little wheel that's spinning over here? I want 
time transformer. All right, we'll grab him. There he is. <laughs> you knocked the pony down. All right, show everybody the transformer, buddy. All right, this is what he looks like. And you can crush him. 